Hello, everyone, and welcome to the playoffs of Season 2 of EGFH in Overwatch. Today, we're alive with games from the Connecticut region as we are getting into the semifinals between the Notre Dame Green Knights and the Woodstock Academy Centaurs. A trip to UConn for the finals on Saturday on the line. And I want to start off by thanking our sponsors, the UConn Gaming Club, the UConn School of Engineering, the New York Excelsior, and Mob Crush for making this season possible. My name is Victor Vic Sharp Watney, and Vord this series i am joined by the vk hello now together into this game the map selection will be pick and ban format with the maps map types being as follows escort control point then assault then hybrid and then escort again and the maps we will be playing today are dorado nepal hanamura eichenwald and gibraltar yeah, now VK, we talked about, we were looking at these teams a little bit before we got started, and they had a fairly close match in the regular season. It was 3-0 to Woodstock, but that doesn't kind of tell the score of how the game was going. These two teams seem very close, and I think we're in for an exciting semifinal here. Indeed, and since then, I believe uh, some heroes got nerfed, some heroes got buffed, namely Brigitte got nerfed big time. And uh, the Centaurs, we've seen them a lot, we've casted them a lot, and they're big fans of the GOATs. So I'm not sure if they will be able to adapt, and uh, that this edge that uh, Brigitte usually brings to the team will be enough to make them win this time. Yeah, and we're already seeing the offense here from the Green Knights pushing through and it is kind of that goats comp that you were talking about from the centaurs we're gonna see the first found the payload it's brigitte and lucio the supports are down and it's just a team wipe the rest of the way out the centaurs having a strong early start here it's only the pharmacy left in the air well uh this does nothing to kick that pharmacy out of the air so it's going to be hanging hugely on aspar and monk to try and make an opening for their team now, if they are able to make an opening, the GOAT's composition will quickly fall apart without either either of the six heroes. Yeah, and we're seeing the flank come around, though. They do. The Brigetta is going to be the first one to fall for the Centaurs, and they're trying to just come around. The Barrage is going to come out. Aspire does get taken down, but not before taking out a couple. So this is the fight in the favor of the Green Knights. They're pushing the Centaurs back as... Aspire gets rezzed up, is back in this fight, and raining damage down. The ultimate is going to come through from Snake, but isn't going to be able to do too much as Snake and Maple fall. They get one trade, but Overbutt is going to go down, and it's pretty much just a few left. The Diva trying to get on the payload and just, just, and just stop it a little bit, but a good response from the Green Knights to get point one. Well, uh, the Centaurs need to take something against the Farmers because MRD on D.Va is clearly not enough to stop Aspire from getting Thanks another barrage and raining it on their heads. Yeah, and what do the Centaur? What would you like to see the Centaur switch to here, Vicky? What can they do as they're trying to flank around to maybe get a big flank here? Well, yeah, let's and see if the flank works first. Yeah, the flank is going. It is going to be the Zarya all keeping them in place. They aren't able to get too much damage down from it, though. MRD is going to get taken very low. Not quite able to get D-Meg yet, so the fight is still going on. Overbutt's going to be the first one to fall. There's the barrage behind them, but it doesn't really get too much. Aspire gets taken out by the Diva Bomb, and it is a one-for-one -one trade. The uh, Pharah for the Reinhardt, the res is going to come out, gets Aspire back into the fight. MRD is d -mech, and now it's numbers for the Green Knights as they are pushing through, trying to get towards the baby Diva, while the rest of the team is split up. The Diva's going to get taken out. Aspire can now come back, join the rest of the Green Knights, and push them away. A huge Earth Shatter is going to get a couple down and give them time to take a couple more, and just once again, not able to keep the far down VK is they're just gonna push through the last couple of members here. Understood. Well, uh, just like I said, they need something against that far an Ash, a McCree, a soldier, anything would do. Basically, any heat scan would do them a lot of good on this one. I'd favor McCree slightly because uh, the flashbang is able to interrupt the res from Monk. Uh, we see a lot of reses coming through. Yeah, but the Zarya is going to come through, and the barrage is massive as it gets four, and it is just the Moira and the Diva left. The Moira is going to fall. The Diva's not far behind, and that combo VK coming up huge again. 
And finally, we see Snake Skin OU swapping to McCree. Snake OVO taking the Brigitte. So, uh, what they sacrifice is a Lucio and uh, some ultimate charge, but not a lot of it. Goats are known to stack up their ultimates fairly easily. Most of their ultimates are pretty cheap. So, they should be better on the third point. Yeah, and with only, with still four minutes on the clock, VK, this is going to need to be a massive defensive hold here from the Centaurs. The Green Knights have had such a strong push in. It's looking like they want to contest this first big turn here as they're just at each other with those Reinhardt shields trying to pass their way to the enemy team. There's the barrage. It is going to take down Overbutt and takes down Snake and Maple. It's three down and the McCree and Moira fall and it's just another team wipe. There's just nothing the Centaurs can do to stop this rampage. Uh, Vic, I'm not sure why Snake Skin OU does not occupy the high ground. I mean, that's that's clearly the way to go, especially when you're playing against a Pharah. And getting stuck below that bridge is not exactly a good spot. Yeah, dueling Zarya alts, they're not going to get anything for either team. Overbutt is going to fall. I believe we also saw MRD use the Diva Bomb, not able to get anything from that. Maple falls as well. The Zarya's duel going in favor of Live Memory, and that is just the rest of the Green Knights pushing through. Overbutt gets there to just barely save, but with only 0.1 meters, that's going to be a very fast and very strong first offense from the Green Knights. Score. Uh, Fire Mercy working Zero. wonders for them. Switching sides. So clearly, clearly the Green Knights came prepared for this matchup. They want to take Initiate revenge for the loss in the group stage. Yeah, and you mentioned when we got into this, the Centaur's kind of strength and maybe a little bit of reliance on the GOATS comp. And some of the patches that we've seen have started to tear away at that GOATS comp a little bit. You mentioned the Brigitte nerfs. What do the Centaurs have to adjust here on this offense? Is it they have snake skin on Faro right now, but it still looks very you know, they're trying to run something that they just lost against almost. Well, uh, my guess is they're trying to guess the opponent's strategy, which is uh, goats for some reason. But Aspire already taking McCree and uh, I don't think Snakeskin OYO is uh, reading it. I don't think Snakeskin OYO expects Attackers the McCree on the opposing side. He expects the uh, full GOATS composition. That triple healer though looking quite surprising for me. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by these things too. And you were talking about Snakeskin not realizing this McCree. Aspire is also a very, very strong McCree player. We saw it last season for the Green Knights, and Five, I would be a four, little scared for the Centaurs three, here as we're going to see the offensive one, start. Go. No changes, VK, so I'm not sure what we're going to expect from this first turn. They're going to spot the far out quite quickly, get some good damage down onto him. Aspire is at half, but that shouldn't be a worry for the McCree. Now the McCree's health bar is a bit of a worry. Trying to maybe get a good pick off here could be huge. They're going to get healed up, get to the first big turn here and gun try and just take down aspire he is getting healed up far the far trying to go over the top get to them it's causing the green knights to run down the stairs get more in front of the payload right now the first true fight hadn't gone down but aspire picks up the first kill of snake skin goes down the res is already going to come out snake falls now with on the forgetta and this is still man advantage with the res down Ana is going to go down and Dunless goes down, so now numbers back in favor as MRD, Aspire, and Monk all fall in rapid succession, but the offense looking strong for the Centaurs to start as they survived the initial pick on Snakeskin and still won the fight, BK. Well, uh, and Snakeskin comes out of, with a barrage from this fight, so it's very good, but he'll require a little more team coordination than Aspire did on his fire play, because... Uh, yeah, he's playing against Nash, not a McCree, Flash is not a concern, but uh, still a barrier from Azaria would do him a lot of good. Yeah, and Aspire proving worth getting both members of the pharmacy in that little beginning push, and it's already stalled the push from the Centaurs, kind of more than the Green Knights were stalled. And now with the pharmacy back in the air, Aspire though, proving that switch maybe worked out well to start. 
We'll have to see. The Centaurs are trying to push back in. They get the Reinhardt onto the payload, try and start pushing forward. We hear the ultimate come out from Snake, trying to get something with this Mercy. They're going in. It's a massive Earth Shatter, and that is a great combination from the Centaurs as they get an instant team wipe, BK. Monk not reacting with the Transcendence that uh, could have saved his entire team there is uh, somewhat a surprise for me, as especially seeing that uh, the Centaurs do not have an Ana in their roster, so no one to de deny the healing from the Transcendence, and uh, the Transcendence healing is enough to withstand the whole barrage, even with the Mercy boost. Yeah, and a little bit more. Zarya ult's gonna come through. We already saw Aspire pick off Snakeskin, and just without that far, the members of the Centaurs are sitting ducks. It seems like the Zarya ult's gonna be enough to get the damage through and push them back. It's only a couple of their supports as they retreat to the rest of their team. And just once again, already only three and a half minutes on the clock, less time than the Green Knights had at this point, VK. Their defense is doing just enough. And uh, two ultimates, too. They've got. They've still got the Transcendence, they've got a Nano Boost, so that should be enough to win the next fight, and after that, who knows? Shatter? Maybe another Bob? Yeah, well, they're gonna go for it, because Aspire is proving worth on this Ash. Already taken down Snakeskin twice, forcing Snakeskin to actually switch to the Widowmaker, getting off of that Farah because it just hasn't been working on this push. Once again, just delayed by 30 seconds. VK, do you like the, the switch to the Widow? Well, uh, it, it could have been worse, but I'd like the Ash duel much more here. Yeah, the res is gonna come out. Snakeskin had to be rezzed again as Aspire got another pick off, and now they're going in. Ultimates all over the place. Sound Barrier, Zarya ult. They're trying to get to the members of the Green Knights. They take down Aspire. It was a Transcendence coming out of Monk. Is almost taken down. The counter Zarya ult to keep them there. Monk is going to fall over, but falls after being... Uh, had gotten with the Zari, the Zenyatta, and now Maple's down, Lib Memory is down, but it is just enough members of the Centaurs, it feels like, as they can knock down this Brigetta in the end. Snakeskin pays for it with his life as Aspire picks up another kill on this Ash, and they're gonna try and hold defense on this last meter, it seems like, for the second point. Aspire going in is gonna pick out the Brigetta overbutt coming in, but is forced to just retreat with his supports as they are being pressed back a meter from that second point, VK. Oh, that's exactly why I would like the Ash duel more. Snakes, you know, you're losing almost every shootout with the Widowmaker, and again, the uh, the red dot sight on Ash's rifle is working much better than the magnification on Widowmaker. Yeah, and we've had to see Snake use so many early reses on Snake Skin, not having that ability for these fights. The pace is slowed down, which is not good for the Centaurs. Only a minute and a half left, not able to get to that second point and get some more time on the time bank. They're gonna push in again. They don't really have anything but overbutts. Alt Snake is gonna be the first one to go down, but Monk does fall as Snake Skin picks up a snipe, kind of finally on this Widowmaker, trying to make something happen. Push them through. Brigetta is just going into the team. The Earth Shatter from Dunless is massive as they just start taking people out left and right. Aspire is finally going to go down, but not before the rest of the Centaurs have fallen. Snakeskin on such low health is just going to get away, but with a minute left, BK, they have to stage some massive offense. And they have to do without any ultimate as well. I mean, they've only got, uh, they've only got Brigitte's ultimate, which is somewhat close. She's going to have it in the next fight, and that's, that's it. Maybe a Shatter that's going to be way too late to open the fight with. Yeah, Aspire getting picked off though. Snakeskin finally winning one of those duels and maybe the key one is they're going in onto Dunless. There is the ultimate from Snake Pop trying to just push them back, continue to get pressure. And it is a nano boost onto Dunless it looks like as he just takes down over but trying to push through keep going the sleep is going to come through but not quite enough as they're just pushing the centaurs away Dunless has the earth shatter if it felt like it was needed but not aspire has switched over to the doomfist now getting into the fight with only two seconds to go mrd just trying to get on keep overtime going the rest of the members of the centaurs not close enough overtime's going to tick down vk and it will be map number one to the green knight victory
Well, uh, the Green Knights did well. A great fire and uh, a great play against goats on that fire, combined with the. Uh, I believe that was a strate strategical mistake that uh, cost the centaurs the map, not switching to McCree until the very last point when it was already kind of late to switch. Right, and we saw when the Green Knights were on defense how strong having that hit scan was against the Farah. Yes, Aspire switched off of the McCree quite quickly, but the Ash did so much work on the defense, winning nearly every duel with Snakeskin and really stopping the Centaurs at every point, it felt like. Indeed, and uh, Bob in almost every fight was not bad either. So One of if the you're strongest the strongest ultimates in the entire game. If you're the centaurs here, VK, we're heading to Nepal next. What do they need to do to kind of settle themselves and bring this back to a 1 1 series? Well, uh, I'd go as hardcore as double heat scan an Ash and McCree, maybe an McCree and soldier combination, even. Something to counter the fire mercy and uh, still have enough damage to kill everyone else. Yeah, I think it'll be really interesting to see the any adjustments made. The Green Knights have to be feeling pretty confident in their uh, play after that first map. It can be so crucial in these best of fives, VK, Traveling to take to that Nepal. first map, maybe put your opponents on the back foot moving to the rest of the series. I believe the second map is even more important because uh, it puts your opponent in uh, that kind of state when when it's their last stand. If they lose the this map, they lose everything. So a score of two in the best of five series is uh, even more under. Well, VK, how do you feel right now? Obviously, we have a few seconds that teams to change their mind. Right now, Maple and Snake are hovering that pharmacy on this specific point on Nepal. I'm not as fond of the pharmacy here since so much of the fighting can occur right in that point. Well, uh, a Farrah can have enough space, especially when playing against goats, but I like, I really like the mate pick from Aspire. It could stop the farmers right in their tracks, just uh, wall them off, make them fly around, make them fly above the points, losing precious time. And while well, they're flying around, fight 4v6. Yeah, I agree. I think the May from Aspire could really be an aspiring pick here, but we're just going to have to see if they can get it to work this first fight. If I know anything about these two teams, this fight's going to happen way before this control point unlocks. And we see the Winston from Overbutt already just trying to jump in. It's a quick dive to the point from the Green Knights. They're just trying to get on here. They are trying to force the Centaurs around. Just trying to get some damage in. The ph the Pharmacy is behind them as they are on point. The dive in is going to come in from the Winston just to get onto the point. Stop the contest coming. The Maywall is going to come out and isolate the Brigetta. They take her down for the first pick, and it looks like they will cap the point quite quickly. The May already proving worth from Aspires. They've forced these Centaurs above them, trying to fight above the point, as you were kind of saying with that Pharmacy. And they do take down Snakeskin as well. The Tracer going down is one of their damage. Maple is about half health, and now with Snake down, the Farah is alone in the air. Snake's going switching over to the Hanzo, but isn't going to be able to get here as the first fight goes cleanly in favor of the Green Knights as they isolate MRD to just get another stagger here, VK. An extremely smart play at the beginning, going straight to the point, not fighting on the usual high ground space. Because uh, when you have a Mei, the more enclosed the space you fight in is, the better it is, because you can wall off someone completely, deny them any help, any healing, take them down and fight in a, in a very advantageous situation. 
Yeah, and Maple mistake there in positioning. Had the barrage up, but is going to be the first one taken down. The res, or the ultimate from Snake, is going to come out, but not really going to be able to get to Maple for the res. The ultimate comes in from the Zarya, locking three of them down. They take down Snake and Snake Skin, and it is only MRD running away with such little mech health. Overbutt going to fall off to the side as the members are just having to retreat. MRD once again gets d mech at the end of the fight. Stays alive in Baby Diva, but already 72%, VK. Ready. Come on. 75 even, and uh, a lot of ultimates on Green Knight. I mean, one blizzard from May could interrupt the interrupt the uh, the capture and deny the capture completely. Yeah, and Faro's looking around, still has the barrage, but Snake's gun gonna get taken down. So low, barrage does come out, but it's not able to get much at all. It does take down Live Memory in the end, but falls for it, and it's two members down as overtime is ticking on the point. MRD is on there as the Lucio trying to get something over, but gets taken down. Snake is gonna fall as well as it's just the remaining members of Centaur trying to get on the point and stay keep overtime ticking. MRD alone against the Green Knights, and now it's just the Diva as a Hammond comes in from Lib Memory just to cause they have so much zone control with Hammond and May now, and that is going to be a clean 100 to 0 point 0.1 for the Green Knights. Now, the question is what do they have in store for the next two maps? Now, Village is known to be very May friendly, but uh, Shrine and especially Sanctuary, not so much. Just yeah, and on Shrine here, or we really feel like this open map here, at least in my opinion, this fits the uh, Fara a little bit better. But we see Aspire maybe sniffing it out again. Obviously, 20 seconds or so still to allow them to switch around. But if Aspire sniffs out this pharmacy once again, it could be pretty key for the Green Knights. Now, no Anna again for the centaurs so this might be a little bit of a mistake here especially facing a triple healer composition but they're playing triple heal him themselves yeah and you see them on the point just trying to fight for that supremacy point unlocks in five seconds no one's gone down yet but members of the centaurs are falling very low snakeskin is going to be the first one taken down aspire picks up the kill the brigetta duel goes to rivzi and overbutt falls they do get live memory in, in the end but it's just a one Person trade four four as make that five as MRD falls and Maple gets staggered. So VK just once again the coordination of the Green Knight seemingly coming up strong. Also the ult economy, they've got a uh, shutter. They're close to high noon. They they're close to uh to a coalescence and nothing to show against this from uh, from the centaurs. Yeah, they're gonna try and rush in over, but they do take out a Spire. Maple gets a big snipe there on the Zenyatta. Can they get anything from it? And that'll be the question. They're pushing in for it. They know that McCree is down. McCree is back up, but the it might not matter. The Earthshatter from Dunless getting in. Snakeskin and Snake falls. Maple fell down earlier. Live Memory is gonna fall, so it's a pretty even trade so far. Snakeskin is brought back into this fight. Numbers advantage for the Centaurs, but High Noon is gonna be proc. Can it get anything? Dunless and Monk both fall. Snakeskin falls, but Aspire goes down, and that should be enough for the Centaurs to win this duel and take the point back. Maple still holding on to the Transcendence. Enemy Kinda... Okay. Kind of. Uh, well, you don't. You don't usually hold the transcendence. That's that's what I'm trying to say. It's one of those ultimates you use. You know, you try to have for for an every fight. And you try to use for an every fight. But uh, it occurs to me that uh, yes, well, only yeah. for the uh, graviton. Yeah, you saw the transcendence come up huge there as Monk, Aspire, and Rivzi all go down. Dunless is going to fall as well, and it's a clean white for the Centaur, something we haven't gotten to say much in the series. And you said he was holding on to it. It worked out quite well in the end, though. We're going to see Aspire switch to the Ash. This was so crucial in map one, VK. Might have, might have cost them a little bit too much in that fight. They're facing, they're facing another Earth Shatter from Dunless. 
he's one fire strike away from it. They've only got Valkyrie on Snake O, you all hunter it. Nothing else. Yeah, well, they take down this Moira quite quickly. Snakeskin picking up a key first kill, just kind of staying safe near the point, but the Spire gets a good snipe. They are going to go for the res, get it cleanly. So now the res is down. If they can try and force a fight in the next few seconds, you were talking about Dunless now has the Earth Shatter. As Spire gets taken down, Snakeskin gets revenge right back. The Barrage is going to come out, but Snakeskin is going to fall to live memory. The Earth Shatter comes through. It mainly only gets over but they are going to take down the tank. Snake falls as well, and it's now up to maybe Snake Oyuo to try and do something, but just has to get out. Is going to get staggered here, and at 93%, they were so close, BK, but Green Knights flip it. Not overtime, which is very good for for the centaurs, and uh, not exactly good for the green knight. But green knight has uh, has two ultimates ready, very close with two more, and yet again. Pretty much nothing to show against it from the centaurs. Yeah, the Zarya ults are going to be dueled in. There's the transcendence coming in, but Snakeskin is not going to be able to keep alive. Aspire gets a big pick. Snakeskin is going to get rezzed up by the Mercy. They are going in. Coalescence was used. Maple is going to fall down. Live Memory is taken solo. Is going to get taken down. And Aspire trying to do work off to the side using the ultimate. Aspire is going to get taken down by Snakeskin. And with 92% sticking, the fight is still going on the point. Barrage is going to come down. It does get Rivzy, but they lose. Two for it as Bob did a little bit of work there taking down oh, over, but Dunless gets MRD as well. Thanks Fight's still going on, but with Snake getting taken down, it is numbers advantage to the Green Knights. Overtime is ticking, so the Centaurs cannot get off this point. Maple gets taken down. The Mercy and the Farah are in the roof, just trying to hold time, trying to stay alive. Allow time for the rest of the Centaurs to get there. Dunless falls, Monk falls, and they might have fought enough time. Coalescence is gonna come out to keep people alive, but not able to get much snake skins gonna fall to Rivzy and they have to get off the point and VK it is 2-0 now to the Green Knights well that was a little bit closer when we got to more of a standard strategy but nothing to play against a May this surprises me it surprises me that uh, the Centaurs haven't even thought of a May peak on village because it's uncommon, yes, but uh, not unheard of. Yeah, and now kind of the dreaded thing for the centaurs that you mentioned, VK. We head to map 3 Hanamura, and it's 2-0 now to the Green Knights. Backs against the wall, your season is on the line. So tantalizingly close to that finals, what can the centaurs do going on to this assault map? to keep their season going something really cheeky something they've been preparing for for a moment like this when everything is on the line you just have to pop one of your secret strategies maybe maybe a symmetra flank maybe a double engineer composition you know symmetra plus torbjorn maybe a quadruple tank Something, something the Green Knight will not expect. But we have seen, VK, the Green Knights have been very quick to adapt to the Centaurs in this series so far. Aspire has been switching all around. We've seen McCree, Farah, Ash, and Doomfist kind of all come out from their key player here. And Monk has just been doing great as a support and that's not even mentioning the tank line of Lib memory and dunless just being so strong on what we've seen i believe zarya and reinhardt for most of this series you're right about that but uh everything we've seen aspire switch that was adapting to a fairly standard composition because farmers you see in a lot of games goats you see in a lot of games these days I'm talking about something that uh, will require some thinking about how to counter. So what specifically on Hanamura would you maybe try and pull out? You've mentioned a lot of different maybe cheesy or unexpected options from the Centaurs here. Which one has the chance to succeed on specifically this Hanamura assault map? Well, uh, me and my team have been practicing one small trick strategy with a May, Symmetra, and a Bastion. 
So the Bastion gets teleported to the um Traveling to, to that left Pagada, where a Widowmaker can usually reside, or some sneaky Junkrat resides. So he gets teleported there and uh, tries to snipe people from there. So if we something, see that, BK, something about this level. If we see that, I will bow down to you because that would be amazing to watch. But we are on to Hanamura, map number three. The Green Knights on blue now, one map away, 2-0. Yukon in their sights, the grand finals appearance, and revenge for one of their regular season losses. Their defense first, we saw them start strong way back on Dorado. They got the they offense first. Imagine. They had plenty of time to show their strength. Does defense first harder or easier in your mind? Honestly, easier. Because uh, you know exactly what you need to get on attack, and you can base your strategy off that. So, for example, if you held perfectly, you only need to capture a third of the first point, and that almost instantly means the most aggressive dive you can get. Try and uh, roll in while the pressure is still on. Yeah, and we'll just have to see. I agree. I think defense can be strong, but for anyone that missed last season in the spring, this is a situation the Centaurs have found themselves in against the Green Knights before. They were down 0-2 in reverse sweat to win the finals last year. Can they have history repeat itself and deny the Green Knights that trip back to the finals? We'll have to see. Maple is on to the Widowmaker early. They put Snakeskin onto the Genji this time around, and they're trying to get just people over the wall, get near the point here. We see both the Genji and the Diva on the side. Maple is taken out by Aspire on this May though, and now trying to get work done as the May is going to just freeze herself in the middle there and Overbutt trying to get around. He is taken fairly low. Is going to get taken down by the Lucio, and now MRD going to get demacked. This first offensive push kind of stopped before it can even start. BK. Still, I like the idea behind the dive itself. This denies at least half of May's potential, which is, uh, well, lure someone inside the gates and block them off with the wall. So nothing of this kind will work against the dive composition, but Aspire is good enough without a wall. It just keeps shooting people and freezing people, and this works. Yeah, the May has so many ways to counter kind of ways that this Genji would get unseen to some of these spots with that ice wall raising up and now maple just trying to get some shots in overbutt's gonna dive no in gonna find a spire right there and get frozen Ugh. and now snakes can ha kind of has to dive in with the winston is now being chased around by the rest of the members and it's leading the centaurs to try and dive right in onto the point they are gonna get monk and spaghetti down the supports are down for the Green Knights and Snake Falls. Aspire is going to get taken down. We hear the Dragon Blade come through. Is it going to be able to get anything? A massive Earth Shatter stops in Snakeskin in his place. And Dunless and Ribsy turn it on its head. MRD goes down in that. And now Dunless falls to Overbutt just trying to get something. They are finally able to get a little bit of progress onto the point. It's only Ribsy. The rest of the Green Knights are too far away. That will be at least one tick as it looks like they're not quite done trying to defend Fin this does look like they are indeed trying to back up now. VK as the spire jumps off the map. I like the attacking strategy from the centaurs here. You know, it's something, something akin to what we see usually with a main strategy. Try to separate the team and uh, fight it as a two consecutive small fights. But doing this with a uh, Winston and Diva in a dive composition is much harder than with a Mei. Yeah, and Aspire picks up the first kill as Snake falls. MRD is very close to being d -mech. Monk is going to go down. Snake falls as well. MRD getting taken low, getting d -mech. Is going to get taken down by Spaghetti. And Overbutt falls. The Green Knights were waiting on the high ground. The Centaurs tried to be a little cheeky and just run right in. But it kind of backfires on them here as the Green Knights are just going to push them out. Maple and the Widowmaker, the ultimate, but uh, 
against both Brigitta, Lucio, and the uh, and the Reinhardt. It's questionable. And he realizes that he switches to Sombra. Yeah, we'll have to see if that switch is big. They still have four minutes. They have caught Aspire trying. Aspire's trying to do something or at least just stay alive. Does have the ultimate, is going to use it. See if he can get anything here. Maple falls. Snake goes down to the ultimate. So that is the Ana down. Overbutt is taken very low. Doesn't have the ult. So isn't able to heal back up. And that is once again the Green Knights just repelling the offense from the Centaurs. Aspire with such a good ultimate to kind of zone them and get a pick off as MRD is going to get demecked here. Should be staggered. Might just let the baby diva go for now as Snakeskin trying to protect just force the green knights back and once again that's now about a minute off the clock on this point B. My guess is uh, the centaurs were just trying to bait the ultimates out of uh, green knight there. They've succeeded. They've managed to bait the Dofist ultimate. Yeah, in Dragon Blade coming through we see Dunless almost whiff on that earth shatter snake and mrd go down but monk and spaghetti fall as on the other side dunless is going to fall as fire is still up and overbutt and both snakes are going to go down it was looking close there vk but as fire doing work on this doom fist huge grenade from snake oyo though catching three people in the blast this at some at, uh, at a certain moment this seemed like something resembling of a victory in the fight. Maple is way too far away from the EMP. Still 40% to go and uh, he was in a very hot situation there. Yeah, a little scary far forward. Aspire going in, finding the entire team of the centaurs as they're trying to push in. Rivzi takes down Maple. That is the somber down over, but trying to jump in. Has the ultimate proxy to get the heal and now is trying to go wild on the point. Aspire does get taken down by the McCree. That snake skin has up. Now the Diva Bomb's gonna come through. Not quite get anything. Rivzi go down the snake ovo pays as dunless picks up the kill overbutt is getting to about half health dunless doesn't get anything with the earth shatter as snakeskin is taken down by live memory and they're forcing them back mrd is going to get dmex should get taken down here by the doom fist and it looked good taking down aspire early vk but just once again the green knights respond and repel finally maple has the mp too bad mrd already used the self-destruct could have it could have opened uh, a, a huge huge kill a huge combo you know just uh, pop the mech and then at the last second when everyone thinks they're shielded use the EMP it yeah, would be enough to open the point but uh, it looks like the EMP is going to get combined with uh, the high noon here yeah, Snakeskin getting taken very low quickly though. There's gonna be the forget to ultimate from the Centaur. Snakeskin has the high noon, is gonna use it. The MP still has not been used. Aspire and Monk go down though. There goes the EMP and they're trying to force him back. Rivzi is taken down. Live memory, it's only Dunless and Spaghetti. Dunless is gonna fall. They're going to go down. And now with a minute to go, they're finally getting ticks onto point B. That's one and a half, almost two. Aspire's gonna go down, allow the second point to tick over. Can they get there before, but they cannot in the blink of an eye. IVK, the Centaurs complete their offense. Finally, they found some vibe of theirs. They found, found some way to try and win the game. Just uh, that, those quick attacks, you know, surviving the initial, the initial aggression from the Green Knight and uh, striking back with even more force. Yeah, and it's good to see some life in the Centaurs. They've had some close stages in this series, but not really able to take anything of note. And getting a completed offense is big here. Giving yourself just a little bit of time on the board, too, can be so key, VK. Because we look like we're going into a situation here where we're going to get a replay of the map. And you never know when just 50 seconds or just the littlest bit of extra time can be key. True, true, Greetings. and uh, honestly, I like the uh, Centaur's pick Hello. here a lot more. 
Now they're facing they're facing a goat. They're not facing a bad composition, and they have a main. So unless Monk figures out some way to speed boost all of his team before Maple can close out the gate, it's going to be very, very easy to win the fights for centaurs. At least until Maple either makes a mistake with his wall placement. Or, Defend objective a. or the Green Knight switch to a dive composition. Yeah, and we'll have to see a Spire on the Zarya. They're just gonna push right on in on them. Maybe catching them slightly by surprise as they're just in the face. Rizzi's gonna be the first one to fall. Is over, but picks up the kill. Lib Memory is going to get frozen, but is gonna be able to get out of it. Monk trying to keep them alive, but the Ice Wall blocks any chance of getting out. Now it's a Spire trying to get back to the team is going to survive for just a little bit here as the dueling Reinhardt walls is still right now in favor of the centaurs aspire trying to get damage among around the side and then once again just going to try and push in on them the wall bucks with memory and leaves him isolated is going to get taken down and it's working as you said vk they're just keeping them isolated and keeping them stuck at that doorway ribsy's going to go down again not had the best start on this forget that the nano boost doesn't get a whole lot from overbutt but they do chase him away maybe too far as snakeskin is gonna get taken down the ultimate's gonna come through from the spire monk falls for it though they tried to flank around the side dunless is gonna get demek the earth shatter gets two can they get anything for it overbutt and snake ovo both fall and they're pushing through aspire is in the back line is gonna get frozen up is gonna get taken down by maple maple might pay for it but is able to get out Live memory dives in. They are onto the point now. It is a sleep going on to Dunlis. The transcendence is going to come through. And is it going to be enough to keep the centaurs up here as the blizzard comes out? Live memory is going to fall. Rivsy goes down again. They still haven't been able to get a tick as Snake and the rest of the team are here. Monk goes down. It's pretty much just Dunlis and spaghetti i believe up and they're both forced away they got to the point bk in an extended fight but still the centaurs are doing a good job of repelling well uh credit almost fully goes to maple staying alive killing still killing people and uh keeping his man alive i mean that save to mrd when uh he got charged by that no by uh lab memory well, and here we go. They're gonna and dive in. Frozen. Aspire switched to the Doomfist. They got onto MRD quickly. Cole Essence is gonna come through. Diva Bomb doesn't get anything from Dunless, but they have isolated. Maple should fall here as it's gonna get taken down. The Zarya ult's only onto Lib Memory, not able to take down the Genji yet, as it's only Snakeskin pretty much trying to get it over but falls. And VK, you mentioned if they were gonna switch to dive, they do it and it works like a charm. Well, not a simple dive, but uh, a single tank composition. Very agile, very fast. Wow. That's 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 impressive, actually. Because, uh, I mean, not not everyone would uh, have have what it takes to actually stay a single tank. And the Spire is going to dive into the backline to try and get something. The ultimate's going to come out. The sound barrier already comes out. MRD, both supports go down as it's just Snake Skin and Overbutt and Snake tr Snake OUO trying. It's already pushing towards two ticks. They're pushing for the third tick. And VK, we didn't even get a chance to breathe on that point B offense. The dive change was insane. Oh, yes, it was. And then. It worked. It worked wonderfully, leaving the Green Knight 4 minutes and 39 seconds to, to well, uh, get something. Likely get a third of the point, because uh, looking at only a minute on the Centaur's clock, well, I don't think I like it. If you're the Centaur's, you know you're in a time deficit here. You're down 2-0 in the series. What do you try and get in this minute? Ready for battle. Well, uh, at least at least the first point. The first point is quite easy to capture, and uh, to capture it, you need you you desperately need an initial pick. 
Now, if you can pick someone off, if you can force a, a disadvantageous fight for the defenders, you might as well have a shot at this. And if this you could be don't get a pick, well, it's, it's not going to work too well. This could be key, VK. Aspire, maybe for the first time, not fully sniffing out the pharmacy. Maple and Snake are on it right now. It is Aspire. They're playing a GOATS comp here. We saw Faro work very well against this in map one for the Green Knights. Will it work against them as the offense comes through? They aren't going to have time to think about this. They just have to go with a minute. And Faro already going to start raining damage down onto the Green Knights. Try and get past this doorway into the area that can really cause some damage and the rest of the team kind of far behind though mrd is starting to take a little bit of poke down it's going to be a dive in from over but just trying to get on to the members of the green knights they're pushing through mrd is going to get demek though aspire getting the diva out could be key with memory forcing them off of the point and mrd is going to fall with only 23 seconds losing that one member can be so key maple trying to Rain down the damage as this far, but gets hooked and taken down as fire, even not on hit scan, is the counter for this far. The coalescence is going to come out with only 10 seconds left. It's snake scan on Sombra just trying to push away, but this is going to be a full hold as Overbud dives in, just tries to get onto the point, tries to force overtime, is going to try and keep it going. We do see the Earthshatter come in though, keeping them down. Overbud and snake and fall. MRD is going to get demeg Para. Or Mercy is still here now far is here as well uses the barrage but is gonna get hooked out of it Aspire with another key hook here as they're just trying to knock down the remaining members of the centaurs Snake OUO is going to fall down to Aspire's whole hog and that should be this entire defense held VK The mistake from snake skin OUO Teleporting right under an earth shatter just cost them the whole map and possibly the whole game i mean he teleports half a second later he can emp and maple can capitalize hugely on it because uh he was five five percent away from the barrage that's that's one rocket that's nothing he basically had the ultimate in his pocket yeah and i know emp and and the barrage combo they take out three, possibly four people. They take the first point. Yeah, and while the centaurs may be wondering what if on that offense, as you were pointing out, VK, I do still have to once again oh, yeah. aspire. I, on today? I was worried when he was on Roadhog because we saw the goats kind of fall to pharmacy earlier in the series, but that Roadhog almost acted like aspire was still on hit scan. Those hooks were all Hello over there. the place and just zoning in on Maple. Indeed, that was a very good job from Hello. him. I mean, I wanted to mention that uh, a GOATS usually runs D.Va, and D.Va is somewhat of a counter to Farah. You know, it gives at least some breathing room to the team, and uh, a GOATS without D.Va, but with a Roadhog, who feeds ultimates like crazy, is going to be, is going to be their grave. And then the spire just goes and hooks people. Yeah, and they're diving right in. They have so much time to work with. Monk is going to get taken down. But for the Green Knights, they can back away, allow their support to come up if they so choose. Dunless is taken very low. They're just diving in, though. Live memory going for it. Spaghetti is taking a little bit of damage here, but you can see they only need tick one with four minutes to make it happen. We see Snakeskin no already with the Widowmaker ultimate is going to use it. Aspire trying to rain down damage, dodges away from Maple's hook, and they're just trying to wait out this Widowmaker ultimate, I feel like, as they are just dancing around the door. We, they are going to dive in. Overbutt takes down Live Memory, though. Could be a key first kill. Overbutt might fall for it as Aspire picks up the kill. Dunless is off to the side, trying to get the damage onto Snake. Snake skin is going to fall as well. Maple is taken very, very well in the Roadhog, trying to heal up. There's going to be the sound barrier from Rivzy just to give the team some shielding and some survivability as they are on to the point. The Diva Bomb is going to come out. Isn't going to get anything, though, as Live Memory picks up two with the Dragon Blade, and they only need one tick, VK. They, it is just MRD trying to stay alive, trying to cause a distraction, but that might be it for the season. Overbutt is on the point now, just trying to get there. It is halfway to that point. The Centaurs have fallen, and the Green Knights have denied the two-time champions their 3 P. 
Welcome to the finals. Welcome to the finals, Green Knights. Well played. Play yeah, it, really hard. You can't say enough about the Green Knights in this series. A 3-0 in, at times, in a dominant fashion, VK. It's just, it's so nice to see this team really peaking at the right time. And whoever their opponent is in the finals, whether it is Kaynor Tech or whether it is the Ludlow Falcons, the Green Knights are playing inspired right now. You know my name. If they can keep up the vibe, they uh, they might as well take the finals. Well, VK, any last words? This was a very fast series, but any last words for both of these teams as we see, unfortunately, for the Woodstock Academy of Centaurs, their season falling in the semifinals? Well, the semifinals is not a bad run, so Centaurs, don't get too upset. Practice more different strategies and don't hesitate to repeak when when you're playing against the farmers. Well, there you have it from my co-caster. Thank you, everyone, for tuning into this semifinals with the Notre Dame Green Knights taking the 3-0, getting their revenge on the Woodstock Academy Centaurs. Be sure to tune in on Saturday for the finals to see if Green Knights can finish their journey as champions. And you can follow us on Twitter and Twitch at official EGF to keep up with all of that action. And this season would not be possible once again without the support of our sponsors, the Yukon Gaming Club, the Yukon School of Engineering, the New York Excelsior, and Mob Crush. I am Victor Vicksharp Watney, and you can find me on Twitter at the Vicksharp. And this was the VK as his co-caster. You can find me at Twitter handle the VK, but uh, the E is three. Thank you for joining us and be sure to tune in tomorrow for the finals at the Yukon.